Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the IBO player to your Fire Stick in 2025. The whole process is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And without any further ado, the first step you need to take is getting the app code downloader to your Fire Stick. So if you already have the loader on your device and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip this step. But if you do not have the loader yet, or you are unsure if it is stopped correctly, then of course, just follow me. So we have to go to search on the Fire Stick. You open the search bar and start entering Downloader in here. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So you click on it and here is the app, which you need to get to your device. But then after you've got Downloader, you actually still need to set it up. So now we'll need to go to settings on the Fire Stick. Let's do that together. So you hit that home button on your remote, then head to settings, go to my Fire TV, and in here you have to turn on developer options. But on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you can find developer options anywhere, then there's no need to worry because it's pretty easy to make them appear. You just have to go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you gotta start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging. After that, go to install unknown apps. And from here, all you have to do is locate the loader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's gonna allow you to install other applications from the internet. And not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we'll do right now. So now what we have to do next is go and open the list of applications. Here it is, open it. And now there's the downloader, which we got. But before actually using the downloader, there is one more thing, which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast. They got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a couple of bucks per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. All you have to do in a VPN app is connect to any server. So let's say we pick some location like Netherlands and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is gonna be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, then I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video, or in a description of this video, you will get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we go, open Downloader, and now there in a the search bar, you just have to enter the code, which will be 511693. So again, 511693. That is the code you have to enter. And then just click go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel. 
so you would get even more content about fire sticks. And now the download of the app has started. Usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then just click install and wait until the installation process is fully finished. After that, do not click open yet, instead press done, because this way you get an option to delete the installation files, which you don't need anymore on a Fire Stick device. So just click on delete and then delete once again. This way you will be able to save yourself some free space on the Fire Stick. And it's really important, because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. And then when you go back to a list of apps near your device, open it. And now there at the bottom, you will find the IBO player. So first of all, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That is the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way the app will always be at the very top of your application list. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.